I'm still feeling a little bit upset about yesterday's Europa League loss against Napoli in the final, but if you could all hit the subscribe button, I think that would make me feel a lot happier. So, up the mighty hammers! <laughs> Hello and welcome to part 10 of completing the quad with West Ham and in today's episode we shall be doing our very first transfer special as, in our, as a Champions League club which is very exciting. We're hoping to offload a couple of the older players like Cresswell, maybe Antonio. I don't really want to get rid of him because he did score like 20 goals I think this season. So let's just take a quick look at our season review so signings we made were Lodi who pretty decent Altai Bayunda very good goalkeeper getting a backup this year because I don't think Alphonse Ariola is going to be a permanent Ekatike is a good player might loan him out. Dunno that he was terrible. Hello Shek. It's a very promising. The shadow is just it's terrible. We won't be getting him back next season. So we qualified for the Champions League. The board wanted us to qualify for the Europa League, so we exceeded that. Mikhail Antonio got 17 goals. Our moments to remember this year was a 5-0 win against Everton, which was our biggest win. Our match to remember was a 3-2 win against Man United. And goal of the season went to Thomas Salchek. Which I will just show you very quickly. I can't remember what this goal was like. So, Lodi to Rice, Sochek. Yeah, I mean, I've seen better goals. Only just about went into the back of the net. So, our finances look pretty good this year. Sponsorship was 31 million. Broadcast revenue was massive, 87 million. I mean, competition prize money, I would have expected a little bit more, only 50 million. So, our biggest shirt sales this year was Rice, Socek, Fornells, Vlasic, and Bowen. So, if we can hold on, hold on to Bowen and Rice this year, the other three I'm not so worried about. Our best lineup was Ariola, Sufal, Zuma, Diop, Cresswell. I think that those back four might stay for the season. Cresswell might look to replace because he is getting on a bit. Sertrick and Rice, Bowen, Plasic, Fornells, Antonio. Oh, one Premier League manager of the year. That's that's a very that's a good end of the season. Our fans play of the season was Zuma, young player was Vlasic, really? Signing of the season was Altai Bayunda. Most assists was Jared Bowie with 16, so that's, that's, I mean, that's impressive. He's got to be called up for England soon. Has he made an appearance? No. Let's take a look at what they want us to do next year. Top half, I think we could do that. Reach the group stage of the Champions League. That's fine. Well, that's good. I'll make sure I ask the board for a new contract because it ends next year. No. Uh, Top half, that's great. Um, 
I'll be using to reach the Champions League proper. Oh my god. Um, let's go for the knockouts then. See you when I get back. Let's go. Go USA. Right, who can we possibly let go of? Actually, who's, who's got a contract running out at the end of this year? Crow, Ariola, Jallo and Delapro will return to their parent clubs. Mark Noble is retired from ring football, but we are, he is becoming part of our coaching staff, which is good. Cresswell is at his Staying on to next season. Okay, we won't let him go then. Who's Antonio want to buy Fulham? Johnson's want to buy Everton. Four houses want to buy Bayern Munich. Bowen's want to buy Liverpool and Man City. If we can get Salah for Bowen, that'd be good. Or Sterling for Bowen, that's fine. Is Declan Rice wanted by anyone? No, that's a good sign. So I will come back on the first day of the transfer window and hopefully we may have signed a few players and we may have sold a few players. It's the start of the transfer window. We've made a contract offer for one player, but that's about it at the moment. So Rumors in the press have been linking West Ham with Esri Conte, he won't be a bad signing. Rob Holding, I'm not really sure. Adam Webb's, who's it? Oh, no, he's terrible. Victor Osseman could be heading to Arsenal. I hope not. Let's so Yusuf Demir is joining. I think he's yep, he's staying out on loan with his parent club. Yeah, they'll join back with us at the end of the season. Yeah, great then we can go. Does anyone want to Does anyone want take the rice? No, still unwanted. Here we have loaned out Hugo Ekatike to QPR. I don't think he's going to get much game time. Uh, ben Johnson might be joining either Everton or Fulham. So, new right back is definitely on the horizon. So, we have made a contract offer for Andre Onana, who's a pretty good goalkeeper. But we are battling out with Newcastle, Bayern Munich, Milan or um, Real Madrid. So if we don't get him, I might make an offer for Ben Foster if he doesn't retire. Hopefully we don't need to do that. So I think I will come back on the 2nd of July when all the loan players have gone back and whoever has been released has been released then hopefully I will have signed some players I hope so it's currently the 2nd of July we've done so much transfer business I've got no transfer budget left I mean I could Transfer some of the wage budget over. See if that does anything. Um, what will that do? It. Um, I will just leave it like that for now. So five million transfer budget. 79.5k wage budget. I mean, that's not going to get us very far, is it? Can we sell any clauses? How much will we get for these? 49p. 
50k, 20k. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we still need at least two more players. So let's just go through the players we have bought in. So we bought in Yusuf Demir, you already know about. Austrian right winger, coming out on loan. Benjamin Sisko, very good striker. Slovenian, he's wonder kid. I've had him before in one of my other saves, not on YouTube. But he is absolute, he's like a really good, maybe like a future Ballon d'Or winner. And Marvin Hitz is a Swiss goalkeeper. Came from Dortmund for 425k. Only a backup, but it'd be good. And we also signed Carl Walker Peters just purely because he's homegrown in England and he's English. He's a right back. Costs us 38 million. Came from Southampton. It'd be a good signing. And Daniel Braganka is a Portuguese centre mid. Is a deep playing playmaker or Mazala. And he came from Sporting Lisbon for 30 million. Let's just do this press conference nice and quick. So, what positions do we need? We've got two goalkeepers Zuma, Diop, Neocarte, and. So we need another centre back. But so far, and Walker Peters as our right backs. Loddy and Crespo as our left backs. Then centre mids, we've got Rice, Socek, Braganka. So that's, we need another centre mid. Got Lanzini and Vlasic as our two cams. Got all now outside to check as our left wingers. Then right wingers, we've got Bowen. Then we need potentially another one. Or I might get in a lone right winger. Maybe someone like Harvey Elliott, who's English. Then strikers, we've got Sesco and Antonio. So, centre back. Centre mid. Right rigger. And I think that's it. So it's just those three positions. And hopefully by a couple of days before the first Premier League game, I would have got those positions sorted. So it's one day before our first Premier League game. And let's just take a look at our transfer business this yeah. So start from last season, obviously Rick Fermer signing on of Yusuf Demir as he play he's played one game on loan. And Benjamin Sisko, Slovenian striker. I mean he's quite fast. I reckon I reckon he'll get at least twenty this year. Hopefully. He's quite tall which May slow him down a bit. Never know. Cost us 17 million. Marvin Hits, I think. And it might be Marvin. Not sure. I think it is Marvin Hits. Swiss goalkeeper, he'll only be back up. He might play the odd Premier League game. So he costs us 425,000. Carl Walker Peters. English right back came from Southampton for 40 million. And Daniel Braganka is a centre mid, can also play defensive mid, but he's going to be playing centre mid. Probably a missile role. Cost us 30 million from Sporting Lisbon. Then coming on to the most recent transfers, they're all loans. William Saliba is a French centre back. Came from Arsenal. Harvey Elliott 
is an English right winger and he's on loan from Liverpool. And Kev Taylor, who's, he, oh, I'm not going to lie, he's a bit, probably a bit of a paddock loan. Because I'm, I wasn't really sure who to loan in. And I, th I don't have enough money to buy anyone. So I just got the best sentiment I saw. Yeah, that's a bad season for the B team or reserve team, whatever it is. It's the B team. Got some good players in their B team, like Kick Perry, who's a good youngster. I've had him before on one of my other saves, obviously not on YouTube. So let's take a look at the season preview with all the transfer business done. So it reckons we're going to finish 8th. Zoom is in the Dream 11, that's what we like to see. Anyone else we recognise? I mean, Allison's in there, Robertson, Laporte, Van Dijk, Erdegaard, De Bruyne, Silver, Sterling, Kane, Lewandowski is at Chelsea. Who do Chelsea have? They've still got, oh my god, they've still got Lukaku and Werner. That is a very dangerous looking Chelsea side. I don't think we'll beat Chelsea this year. Who's our key players? Zuma and Rice. I mean, that's fairly obvious, quite standard. Let's take a look at the predicted 11. Altai, Lodi, Rice at centre back, I don't think so. Neocarte, Zuma, I'm not sure. Baganka, Sochek, maybe. Four hours for Lasic Bowen, that's probably likely for that. And Seska up front, that's probably correct. Score down for a change of 25, I mean, that, that is young. Who's got the oldest? They're all at 27 so far. Okay, yes, I will see you all tomorrow for our first Premier League games against Crystal Palace and Man City. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more daily football manager videos, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>